Welcome to another video from Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, we will see how to use VLOOKUP function with Excel tables and also how to look up from multiple worksheets of a workbook. First of all, let me show you how VLOOKUP function works with a normal data range and then we will see the advantage of using Excel tables. Here is the data which we will be working with, the employee details of a particular company. Employee codes are in the first column. Employee names are in the second column, gross salary in the third column, department in the fourth one, and email ID is in the fifth column. Now to extract the name, department, and email ID of these employee codes, from this table, we will select this cell in the formula bar, equal, we look up function, open parenthesis, first argument lookup value, employee code is the lookup value, comma, table array, select the entire table, press the function key F4 to log the references, comma, column index number, we need the employee name corresponding to this code and the employee names are in the second column of this table. So type in 2, comma, fourth argument, range lookup, select false for an exact match, close parenthesis and press the enter key function return the name corresponding to this employee code. Now copy the formula into the downward cells. Now for department, I will copy this formula. We will paste it here, equal. Department is in the fourth column of this table. Modify. 2 with 4. Press the enter key and copy the formula into the downward cells. So this is how VLOOKUP function will work with normal data range. Now let's see the difference when these data ranges are Excel tables. We'll delete this data. To convert this data range into an Excel table, select the data range. Go to the Insert tab, Table, Create Table, OK, and the selected data range has become an Excel table, Table 1. Remove the filter button. To convert the second data range into an Excel table, select a cell in this data set, Insert, Table, Create Table, OK, and the second data range has become an Excel table, Table 2. Now to extract the employee names corresponding to this employee codes, we'll select this cell in the formula bar, equal, VLOOKUP function, open parenthesis, lookup value, employee code is the lookup value, comma, second argument, table array. As this data range has become an Excel table, we can use the table name to refer this entire data range. And the name of the table is table2. Type in table 2, see table 2 is listed here, select table 2 and the entire table is selected, comma, column index number. We need the employee name from the second column of this table, type in 2, comma, false for an exact match. And when I press the enter key, we look up function return the employee names corresponding to all these employee codes here. Now for the department, equal, we look up function, look up value, employee code is the look up value, comma, table array, table 2 is the table containing data, comma, Column index number, department is in the fourth column of this table. Type in 4, comma, false for an exact match. And when I press the enter key, we have the department of each of these employees here. Now for the email ID, I will copy this formula. We will paste it here. Email ID is in the fifth column of this table. So replace 4 with 5. 
and we have the email IDs of all these employees here. And here is the best part. When I type in an employee code here, XNC10, when I press the enter key, adjacent cells are filled with corresponding details. Once again, XNC4. And also note that when we use a table name inside VLOOKUP function, the table need not be in the same worksheet. It can be from any worksheet of the workbook. Now let's see an example for that. Again, we have the employee details of a particular company. This time we have 150 records. Employee code, employee name, date of joining, date of work, age, department, designation and gross salary. And the contact details of this 150 employees are stored in this worksheet called contact details. Employee code, employee name, email ID, address, street, city and phone number. And in this worksheet called extract data, we have randomly picked 10 employee codes from the pool of 150. Now to extract the employee name, department, email ID and phone number corresponding to these employee codes from these two worksheets. First of all, I will convert this data range into an Excel table. Insert table, create table, OK. Table 3, remove the filter button. Employment details. To convert this data range into an Excel table, select a cell in the data set. Insert table, create table, OK. The data range has been converted into an Excel table, table 4. We'll rename this table to EMP details. Now the sheet containing contact details. To convert this data range into an Excel table, select a cell in the data set, insert, table, create table, OK. We'll rename this table into contact. Press the enter key. So we have EMP details which contains the employee details, then the table called contact which contains the contact details of employees. Now back to the worksheet called extract data. Now to extract the employee name and department from this table called employee details, see employee name is in the second column of this table. And department is in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th column of this table. Back to extract data. We'll select the cell. Equal. VLOOKUP function. Open parenthesis. Lookup value. Employee code is the lookup value. Comma. Table array. Type in the name of the table containing data. EMP details. EMP details is listed here. Select the table, comma, column index number. Employee name is in the second column. Type in 2, comma, false for an exact match. And when I press the enter key, we have the employee name corresponding to all these employee codes here. XNC10, my For the department, equal VLOOKUP function, open parenthesis, lookup value, employee code is the lookup value, comma, EMP details is the table containing data, comma, column index number, department is in the sixth column, type in six, comma, false for an exact match, and when I press the enter key, we have the department corresponding to employee codes. XNC10 Admin And if you don't remember the column index number, here is a method to identify it. We'll delete this data. Equal VLOOKUP function Open parenthesis Lookup value 
employee code is the lookup value, comma, EMP details, comma, column index number. Once again, type in the name of the table, EMP details, open square bracket, and the column headers of this table called EMP details are listed here. See, department is in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6th column. Backspace. Type in 6, comma, false, and press the enter key. And we have the departments. Now to extract the email ID and phone number from this sheet called contact details, equal VLOOKUP function, open parenthesis, lookup value, employee code is the lookup value, comma, table array, contact is the table containing email id, comma, column index number, contact, open square bracket, see email id is in the third column and phone number is in the 4, 5, 6, 7th column, backspace, 3, comma, false, and press the enter key. And we have the email IDs here. For phone number, I will copy this formula, paste it here. We'll replace 3 with 7, and press the enter key. And we have the phone numbers. I hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. Thanks for watching. Wish you a great day.